The Village Blacksmith by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Under a spreading chestnut tree, the village smithy stands. The smith, a mighty man is he, with large and sinewy hands. The muscles of his brawny arms as strong as iron bands. His hair is crisp and black and long. His face is like the tan. His brow is wet with honest sweat. He earns what air he can. And looks the whole world in the face, for he owes not any man. Week in, week out, from morn till night, you can hear him, his bellows roar. You can hear him swing his heavy sledge with measured beat and slow. Like a sexton, ring the village bell when the evening sun is low. And children coming home from school look in at the open door. They love to see the flaming forge and hear the bellows roar. And catch the burning sparks that fly like chaff from the threshing floor. He goes on Sunday to the church and sits among his boys. He hears the parson pray and preach. He hears his daughter's voice singing in the village choir, and it makes his heart rejoice. It sounds to him like her mother's voice, singing in paradise. He needs must think of her once more, how in the grave she lies, and with his hard rough hand he wipes a tear out of his eyes, toiling, rejoicing, sorrowing. Onward through life he goes, each morning sees its task begin, its evening sees its close. Something attempted, something done, has earned a night's repose. Thanks, thanks to thee, my worthy friend, for the lesson thou hast taught. To set the flaming forge of life, our fortunes must be wrought. Thus on its sounding anvil shaped, each burning deed and thought.